Hey everyone! So today I just wanted to make a video to show you guys an amazing art book that I got from the library this past week. Um, I actually ordered this one through my library network and it's really great because out of like the 30 libraries in the network, if any of them have the books, they send it to your town library. And so yeah, I was really excited because I usually always check my library first if there's a book that I'm interested in because I'm pretty frugal <laughs> and on a college student budget, so I always like to check out books before I buy them. But this is one I'll definitely be buying because it's amazing. So it's called Lovely, The Ladies of Animation, and it showcases six female artists who are all, um, I believe they're all still current artists at uh, Walt Disney Studios, and I think the book was from 2014. So let's take a peek. So right in the foreword, I knew I was going to like this book because they talk about Mary Blair. Yay! And so the way this book is set up is it's set into sections, and all six sections, one for each artist, and they kind of um, showcase different pieces of art by each artist, and it's like kind of an informal interview style where the artist talks about those pieces. So the first artist is Lorelei Bove. And I didn't know about her before reading this book, and I'm so glad that I now know who she is because her art is amazing. It's like super whimsical and free, and it definitely reminds me of Mary Blair. And I love her use of colors, it's super fun. And I looked into her a little bit because I loved her art so much, and I found out she's actually from Spain, which is pretty cool. I love her use of color. It's really nice. I really like this one. It's super like abstract and colorful, but I think it works really well. So the next artist is, I don't think I'm pronouncing this right, but Mingju, Helen Chen. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And it's really cool because I really like how they chose not to showcase like the work that they- Oh, actually, I lied. She did do these for Disney when she was a trainee. I was gonna say, I like how they don't really showcase their Disney work, but more of their personal work. But I think with the exception of these, it's pretty much their own personal stuff. Like, these are all her own um, personal drawings for fun. I think it's really interesting seeing like how their style translates in different mediums. Here's some more digital, and you can really, you can see like the Disney translation, but it's fun to see that in their own work. So the next artist is Claire Keen, and she's got these really beautiful expressionistic, um, I think they're pastels, yeah they're pastels of women, they remind me a lot of, um, oh my gosh, who's the artist that we had to study in high school? Ah, I'll think of it. And these are some of her own personal portraits. I really like these. These are like sketches she did of her daughter when she was one. Some more babies. Ah, I can't get that. And this next artist is Lisa Keen. And I'm pretty sure she's been at Disney the longest, I think, since she's been there for like 25 years. Um, I might be wrong about that, but I know that in this intro she says that pe she was feeling like she loved her job and she loved painting for a living, but she forgot how to do it like for herself and for fun. And so someone told her to paint what she loved, and so she started doing all these beautiful portraits of all of her dogs and her pets. And I really like how they show like her process. And in all of the um, little descriptions, it tells you like a little story about that pet. And it's just like really sweet and you can tell how much she really loves her dog. She has a beautiful use of color and texture. And the next artist is the reason I got this book because I'm a huge fan of Brittany Lee's art and I really wanted to see more of it and to see more artists like her. 
so she's the real reason I got this book. So if you're not familiar with Brittany's art, she works mostly in paper cutouts, even though it looks like paintings. Um, she actually like paints over the paper and does all details and stuff, and she really captures such a great sense of movement. And um, <laughs> it's just like there's such a rhythm to her work and so much color and life, and I love it. And it doesn't say here, but I'm pretty sure that this is like the new um, designs and artwork they have in the Small World ride, because when I wrote it last summer, I remember thinking like, oh my god, I love these new designs, and I love the colors, and now it makes sense that it would be her. <laughs> Such fun colors. Like, I know this piece is definitely a paper cutout one, so it's just really crazy if you think about all the time and effort that goes into it. These are also paper cutouts. And these are really fun. You can definitely see the Disney influence, or her influence on Disney. <laughs> I guess it could be either way. And these. And the last artist is Victoria Ying. I really, really like these. Um, when I was a child, I was really into cubism, and I loved Picasso, and I just thought it was such an interesting way of looking at the world. And I love how she's done these and kind of like translated that into a more modern take. Like almost like a Disney animation take, I guess. Here's some Photoshop art she did, some concept art, some ink work, more mixed media. Very cool stuff. You can see even like how the cubism kind of translates even into these more like digital pieces. And some animals. So that's it, and this is the last page, and it just tells you a little bit about all the artists. Um, I'll list them in the info box down below if you guys want to check any of them out. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're a fan of Disney animation or the Disney art style, I really recommend you get this book. It's super inspiring and it would it's a great addition to any art library. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!